Welcome to Nully's Nuggets. Why? I couldn't think of a better name. I am just so motivated to get this done. Mostly because I'm avoiding what I'm supposed to be doing, which is homework. But let's just ignore that. So, uh, what we're going to do today is build a Republican face recognition machine. Why Republican? You will see why. All right, let's dive into the code. Um, it is actually very short. It's only 76 lines, and uh, most of the hard work is done for us using this uh, face recognition library um, you can find on NPM. There's a, quite a bit of documentation. You can integrate it with OpenCV and a bunch of other crazy stuff. Um, right now, this is kind of just a hacky thing I made in, a, in an hour or two. And just to kind of show off what it can be um, used for. So, um, if you look, there's this, uh, the file system library built into Node, uh, just standard module. Um, I do suggest this. We're going to be basically doing just basic uh, um, bash commands um, using Node.js. So, I'm just using the await.execute library. So, it basically just makes... Uh, the regular child process execute library from the standard library of node um, but makes it uh, async await compatible so that way we can kind of get a little bit more of a synchronous flow when we're programming which is helpful for stuff like this okay so um, in here I have an options uh, which is callback return which is location all that is doing is uh, kind of instructing the node webcam here, right here. Um, it's instructing that that it's going to be a file path. Uh, I have a model uh, variable, and it is equal to basically just re checking if a file exists. And that file file is the model.json, and that is actually the the model that's generated from the data set that we give it initially. So right now I have it set as static um, and I have a couple photos. So right now that if we check in the file system, we actually have um, we have that model right there. So I've generated that. On the first run of this, it will actually generate the model which will take about 30 seconds or so, depending on your data set. We'll go back to here. Okay, so I have a simple check here basically saying all this does is return a boolean value. So uh, false if it doesn't exist and true if it doesn't exist. So all I'm doing here is if it if it is false, then I want to generate a new model. I'm going to go ahead and specify all these images and load them up. So the it loads them up. Um, I have my face in there, for example and then a few photos of Obama. And then um, after that, I want to detect faces. Oop, there's a typo. So I'm gonna detect faces. All, all that does is really, it finds the facial, facial zone and then it crops the image. You'll get some inaccurate readings um, if you don't do this. So you detect faces. Um, and those just crop the images. Um, and then I pop those images into an array and I give that, add those face array, face array and give it a name, Blake, um, to the recognizer. And then some other uh, settings, like this is a, I think it was like a jiggler or something like that, I can't remember. Um, and then after it is created the model, I just write it to the file system. So yeah, it's gonna write it to the model. And if it already has a model, it will actually um, say the model is found, it will load it up into the recognizer, and then we can move on. <sighs> okay, so this is the core part of it. This is a very simple function, um, but make sure we're kind of doing an ASIC function so we can make sure that we can pause at, in the right places so we can get the flow to go just right. So, and, okay. So now we're here in the main function, which is the recognize face function. And all this is doing is a node capture a test picture, which is going to be the file name and all that type of stuff. It's going to take, say that the image has been taken. It's going to load the image. 
It's going to detect the face, which is basically cropping it down to just the facial area to compare. And then it will check whether the array that this detect faces returns is empty. If it's empty, it means it didn't find any faces. So we're going to return no faces found. And then right here, we're going to go recognize the first face in the array. We're assuming that there's only going to be one person in the image. And then, and if that um, recognize that distance, distance is basically what it means by confidence level. So lower the number, the better. So basically anything greater than dot .55, it's not, it's not a high enough confidence level to make sure that it's actually you. So I just kind of set that, I, I, I'm kind of tweaking that, but for right now that works really well. And after that, I kind of print out some of the information on the console, and then I do this await, execute, and then I say say dash v Samantha. Basically all that's doing is just say is just a little, uh, basically it's how you get voice um, synthesis on a Mac, and I'm just kind of quickly just doing a quick hack to get it to say, um, you know, the, the face wasn't recognized, or the face an unrecognized face has been found. So it's found a face, but it, it doesn't match any of our models. Um, so we're gonna move on, and if it's not, and then we're gonna exit out. But if it's not any of those situations, then it's gonna say, hey, I found someone. Woo! And then it's gonna tell me who it is. So now we're gonna test this. So let's see if it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and see if it recognizes me. It's taking the image. Thanks, Blake. Woohoo! It recognizes me. Now let's try test it. Let's see if I get out of frame. Uh... No faces found. Yeah, because there was literally no faces. Nothing. Woohoo, that works. What about this guy? Woo! And this guy. Woo! Does this work? I haven't trained a model for this, so it should recognize the face, but it it should find the face, but it shouldn't recognize it. Let's try it. La la la. An unrecognized face was found. Woohoo! So an unrecognized face was found. That's exactly what I want to happen. Now I have trained it for Obama. Let's see how it goes. You know, I I, I think I think I built a robot that's kind of either you know, he, he, he's just he's just a little Republican. You'll see why. Thanks, Obama. Ha, 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 ha. Thanks, Obama. So that is it. Um, I just wanted to show that you can do a basic face recognition software in really, like, not that much code in Node.js because of this helpful library. And um, you can kind of use it for whatever you want. Um, I will do another video on this. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys. So I guess I will see you guys later. <laughs>